Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. The government's tight finance policies and the scrutiny by International Monetary Fund may affect the construction of the Grand Hyatt. Reports reveal that the government may even end up selling the project mid-construction. The Mirror Business reports that a contractor involved in the construction under the condition of anonymity said construction of the Grand Hyatt is now going at a slower pace. The article notes that the discussions have taken place with Canville Holdings Private Limited, the state-owned holding company of the hotel, to further slow down the construction due to financial difficulties. The 2016 and 2017 budget said that it would dispose of non-strategic enterprises including the Grand Hyatt. The paper notes further that an official at the Public Enterprise Development Ministry said even requests for proposed to dispose of the hotels have not been called for as yet. Former President Mahindra Rajapaksa's Chief of Staff, Garmini Senrat, and two others were remanded last month by the Colombo Fort Magistrate for allegedly misusing public funds by illegally investing 4 billion rupees from the 18.5 billion rupees approved by the Cabinet for the Grand Hyatt project. The funds in question had been the allocation for the Grand Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kolpiti to be constructed by Canville Holdings Limited, a company affiliated to the Sri Lanka Insurance Corporation, but had been invested in the Hambantha Hyatt Regency Hotel project. Mismanagement of financial resources during the past regime resulted in the hotel, which could have been completed for 18.5 billion rupees, nearly doubling in cost. In addition, Sri Lanka insurance-owned company Sino Lanka Hotels and Spa Private Limited was forced to pay an Italian contractor over 1,500 million rupees over a decision taken by former finance minister Ravi Karunanayake. The contract provided by the Italian company was cancelled by Sino Lanka. The arbitration report filed by the International Chamber of Commerce in Singapore found that the Italian contractor had not deviated from the contract requirements and that in effect they had been misled by their contacts representing Sino Lanka. The tribunal found that the claim of non-performance against Interna was unfounded and not proven.